Thanks for tuning into the Finance News Network. I'm Jessica Amir. Today, I'm with First Graphene Non-Executive Chairman Warwick Grigger. Hi, Warwick, and welcome back. Thank you, Jessica. So for those who aren't familiar, First Graphene has been operational for a number of years now, developing graphene-based applications. Where's the business at today? We're at the pointy end of the business now. Over the last few years, we've developed production capability. We've improved the quality. We are now entering the marketplace and delivering into industry Shareholders have been crying out for sales. That's where profits come from, and we are starting to deliver that as we speak. Now to your wide array of graphene applications, just tell us about them. Well, the two most advanced applications are the fire retardant fire stop. We call it fire stop because it actually stops fires. It is, is cheaper, non-toxic, and easy to apply than existing fire retardants. That's actually just going through certification now. But we've started selling material for polymer linings for the mining industry. A company in Western Australia, NewGen, who supplies Rio, BHP, Fortescue. What the graphene does there is it makes it more absorbent, more flexible and longer wearing. So there's savings in labour, in um, less frequent changes of the, of the polymer and longer lasting. Um, that's, we'll probably sell a few tonnes of graphene into that product in 2019, which would make us one of the largest suppliers to any product line in the world. It's, it's quite significant. Elsewhere, we're looking at supplying to the fiberglass business. Uh, we would have news on that over the next month where that could require five to 10 tonnes of graphene a year on our estimates. Other areas, we're making good progress with concrete. We're not selling it into concrete yet, but we're getting close to that. There's uh, Flexigraph, which is a, a company which is making a new generation of coolants for automotive purposes, for computing purposes. Flexigraph is finding that our graphene works better than anything else, both in suspension, in fluids, and ease of handling. So we're opening up a number of verticals, which we will be selling into the market in 2019. What shareholders need to understand is there's no end market as such. You can't just go to the LME and sell graphene. A company has to be developing its own, own verticals. It might start out small, it might be a few tonnes here or there, but as industry grows, as penetration goes worldwide, you'll get a rapid escalation of sales from that point. So it's all about selling into industry now. We're delivering into industry. We've got the product, we've got the quality, and industry is now coming to us saying, hey, can we use your pure graph in our product? You also have a number of partnerships and um, R&D partnerships as well. Just touch on those. Well, we're dealing with Swinburne, Adelaide and Flinders. They're the main universities in Australia. But the real coup that we achieved earlier on this year was an agreement to join the Geek facility in Manchester. The University of Manchester is the home of graphene. That's where they've got 250 researchers. That's where they've got the most advanced equipment. We've taken a tier one position on the Geek Centre, the Graphene Engineering Innovation Centre. That puts us in touch with the cutting edge of industry in the UK and Europe. We'll have our own laboratory. Our method of making graphene, the electrochemical exfoliation method, has been recognised by uh, Manchester as the leader of its type in the world and they've asked us to put one of our plants in that geek facility and they'll work with us to make it even better than it is but we'll be we'll be uh, rubbing shoulders with much deeper pockets much more capable research teams I understand you're getting a secondary listing in london tell us about that alternative investment market the aim market in london opens up a new avenue for raising capital going forward. The London market is very au fait with graphene. They've got graphene companies over there capitalised at 300 million compared to first graphene, which is only 70 million. There's a whole new swathe of investors who understand graphene, who are looking for more ways to make money out of graphene. We've worked hard over the last 12 months to get us away from that mining space. We're not a mining company, we're an advanced materials tech company. We want the PE ratios that they attract 20 to 30 times. 
whereas mining companies give us five times PE ratios. It's the more sophisticated graphene investors in London that are going to help us there. And just lastly, Warwick, before we let you go, where would you like to see the company 12 months from now? Well, in a year's time, I expect it will be cash flow positive. We'll be looking forward to growing sales as the year of 2019 develops. We will, this time next year, be able to confidently give three-year forecasts for sales based on what we've achieved. And I think that if, if anyone's in any doubt that we're the leading graphene company in the world today, in a year's time, there will be no doubt. Warwick Rigger, thank you so much. Thanks, Jessica.